Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Zach Lesage here. Today we're gonna be talking about the new Lugia from Twilight Masquerade. Now, when I say new Lugia, we didn't get a new Lugia V-Star reprinted, but we did get a lot of new cards to add to our previously existing Lugia deck, and it's very different than what we had before. In this video, I'll be covering over the deck list, the strategy, and uh, my own personal thoughts on the deck in our formats. At the time of the creation of this video, PTCG Live doesn't have the new cards, so even if it's posted when PTCG Live does have the cards, I'm currently gonna be in Los Angeles for the regional championships. That being said, let's jump into this deck list. Here's a Lugia list that I have, and the list is also gonna be available in the description of this video. You can copy and paste it in any of the simulators, or maybe even PTCG Live once the set comes out. The goal of this deck is to always get Archeops in the discard pile, summon them with Lugia V-Star, and then attack with a different amount of attackers depending on the game, whether it's Chinchino, Blood Moon or Saluna, Iron Hands, Wellspring, or Luminion. We have a lot of supporters that are meant to either discard uh, our Pokemon like Archeops, get them in the discard pile, or just to draw cards in general or gust up your opponent's Pokemon. And having a different a bit of special energies to accelerate to your Pokemon, with the big change to this deck being Legacy Energy allowing us to add some color into an otherwise colorless Lugia deck. Um, there's a lot of cool things that we can do with a deck like this, so I will go over some cards individually in the strategy portion of this video. Um, but if you're missing any of the cards for this deck, check out our sponsors at PTCGL Store for code cards and Kayfabe cards for your, uh, your singles, what you need for this deck. Let's jump into that strategy. So the first card I want to look at is the Lugia V-Star. We're really playing this card to use its summoning star ability, and in order to make that work, we need to get Archeops in play. For us to get Archeops in play, we're going to have to discard them at some point. The reason why we're trying to get Archeops in play is because of its Primal Turbo ability. So Primal Turbo allows us to accelerate up to two special energies for each Archeops that we have in our play to our Pokemon in any way we like. That means that we can power up Pokemon such as Chinchino uh, to do special roll for a lot of damage, or we can now use Legacy Energy to power up Iron Hands EX to use Ampy very much. This is the first rainbow or aurora energy like card we've had in about a year and it really allows us to make new lugia a real deck um, you can get those archaeops in the discard pile by using cards such as professor's research ultra ball or the new supporter carmen um, carmine carmen guess we'll have to figure it out however it's pronounced let me know in the comments below how you pronounce that supporter um, the reason why we play this over Professor's Research, or we play it in combination with Professor's Research, is we can play it on our first turn. Uh, it allows us to use Luminion on our first turn to search for our supporter, pitch away our hand, draw five, really giving us options to get more cards in the discard pile, such as Archeops, and having a higher chance of getting a more playable hand. There's some really powerful attackers, such as Blood Moon Ursa Luna EX, that can actually cost less energy as the game goes on when we look at its ability. Doing 240 damage is nothing uh, to scoff at because that's enough to knock out a lot of Pokemon such as Maridon EX or even Iron Hands EX and not having a lightning type weakness. Iron Hands EX can certainly draw some extra prize cards with its Ampy Very Much attack and it's going to be quite powerful against single prize card Pokemon such as Opposing Dreepy. Wellspring Mask Ogre Pawn uh, allows us to do 100 damage, and if we shuffle up to three energies back from our Pope, from our Wellspring Ogre Pawn into our deck, so a Legacy Energy and two Colorless Energies, uh, we can also do 120 damage to snipe the bench, giving us a Radiant Greninja-like effect. Um, and if your opponent doesn't put Manaphy down, you have some opportunities to draw two prize cards from that attack as well. Luminion V is now a possible attacker, so if you have Luminion V in play, you can do 120 damage and shuffle it back into the deck taking a two prize card liability off from your uh, field. One thing that you might also notice is that we've switched from the 60 HP Call for Family Minchino to the new Minchino uh, from uh, Temporal Forces. Uh, it's only to avoid Dragapult EX's uh, 60 damage to the bench that would just knock out a Minchino. Even though we have Mist Energy, we want to make sure our Minchino is well protected. Uh, we've switched from Great Ball to Mesagosa to have more opportunities to get around uh, Temple of Sinnoh because uh, stadiums are becoming a little bit more popular and we've added in a new Roseanne's backup to get back a uh, special energy including our legacy energy so we have opportunities to use it for another Iron Hands, Wellspring Mask, Ogre Pawn, or Luminion V. There's a lot of really cool things when it comes to this Lugia deck 
and I really think that it's going to be quite a powerful deck when it goes all throughout the metagame. Um, it has a great matchup against Dragapults, has a great matchup against a lot of decks that are two prize card based, um, and it can still hold its own against single prize card decks as well. So give Lugia Vsar a try, see exactly how it plays out for yourself. But right now, I think it's actually one of the better decks in format. And I totally think it's worthwhile for you to play this deck and acquire the cards to play it. And that's what we got going on for our video today, going over Lugia Vsar. This is actually going to be one of the more popular decks at NEIC outside of Dragapults. And maybe if the third most popular deck is gonna be either Maridon or Charizard EX. The metagame has really changed up with this new set, and a lot of decks that were previously successful, such as Ancient Box and Chen Pao, aren't really seen in our new metagame. So there are a lot of changes. If you're looking to learn a little bit more about these changes, stay tuned on the Shuffle Squad channel. Like this video, share, subscribe the channel, let us know in the comments what you think, or feel free to hit me up for some individual coaching on Metafy. Um, hit me up book a session let's get you in shape for your next tournament i also run some group classes on metify so if you're looking to try to get some coaching at a at a slightly lesser rate um and more in a classroom setting um that would be a great option as well and other than that i mean i'm i'm on my way to la i'm actually leaving to la tomorrow um probably gonna ch shave the scruffy beard and I'm, I'm i'm doing laundry today so that's why we brought out the sailor moon shirt even though the shirt's kind of fire um, it's a laundry day shirt and um, just really doing a lot of uh, getting ready to move, getting ready for the birth of my daughter, all that great stuff. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I hope everyone has a fantastic day um, picking up all the cards that you need when it comes to PTCG Live and the new set. I know it's always exciting for everyone. So hopefully this new set has you inspired to see success. New season starts July 1st if the season's either working out for you or not working out for you. So hopefully uh, you stay tuned for more great channel uh, content from the Shuffle Squad. Peace out and have a great one. Want to support the Shuffle Squad? Be sure to check out all of our sponsors in the description to pick up Pokemon TCG singles, sealed, and PTCG live codes. You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this entire video from the Shuffle Squad. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate each and every person that supports our content, watches what we have going on every single day, every single week, even from time to time, and uh, continuously allows us to have a forum to project our creative content towards the Pokemon TCG community. So if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and even leave a comment to help boost the YouTube algorithm. That being said, we'll catch you with our next video. Thanks again. Take it easy.